Hi folks, welcome to another Stall13.com video. A lot of you have never seen a horse get an injection. What we're going to do for the sake of your education is we're going to inject this horse with something that is sterile, that is passive. What are we using? Sterile water. Sterile water. It's not going to hurt him. Brand new needle, brand new syringe. This is Dr. Erica Wallace, but we're going to show you what it's like to give a horse a very simple injection in the muscle, correct? Yes. In the muscle. I am is in the muscle. IV means intravenously in the vein. Okay, go ahead and tell us what you're going to do. Talk a little loud. We got wind. Okay, um, most like vaccines are the usual injection that you give. We want Yearly give, shots. Or yearly annual vaccines, yearly shots. Um, we want to give in the neck muscle. And the best way to find the spot to give it is I like to find the shoulder blade here and put a, a hand right in front of that shoulder blade and butt up the palm of my hand to that shoulder blade. And then I want to aim for the palm of my hand. We don't want to go too high because we have the nuchal ligament. It's just a bunch of kind of fibrous tissue and nothing absorbs there. There's no muscle. We don't want to go too far back because we're going to go into bone and, and uh, shoulder blade here. And we don't want to go too low because we have the jugular vein that runs right down in here. So if we just butt our hand right up to that shoulder blade and aim for the palm of the hand, we should do pretty well. So what I do is I usually just kind of pinch the skin a little bit, kind of numb it up, desensitize it, and I sink that needle, and that's an inch and a half needle, and I want to sink it all the way in because I want it to go all the way into the muscle. I don't want it to go just under the skin. And anytime you give a vaccine or any injection, you want to always pull the plunger back and make sure that you see no blood in the hub of that needle. Because most things like vaccines and penicillin cannot go into the vein or into any blood. Because if you get blood back and you give it, then that might go straight to the brain. It might cause a reaction because they can be very sensitive to these vaccines. So we do not see any blood there, so it's safe to give it. We just give it straight in and pull straight out. The purpose of this video, thanks, that was excellent. The purpose of this video is not necessarily for you to watch this video and to just go out and start slamming needles and syringes into the neck of your horse. No. The purpose of this video is so that if you know that someone that is not a professional, licensed, practicing horse professional, like a, a, uh, a veterinarian, is going to give your horse injections, you now know the proper way it's done. This is about safety for the horse and to make sure that no one is giving you a raw deal and they're telling you they know how to do something when they don't. This has been another Stall13.com video. Take care of yourself and your horses.